there's a fantastic uh, sh um, open source video editor on Linux called KDN Live. It's a great bit of software and it's free and um, that's what I'm going to be using to show you how to uh, produce 3D content. When it comes to making 3D videos, the, uh, the real trick is just to take two videos at once from two cameras that are about an eye distance apart and that's step one and step two is to deliver those two different videos to one eye at a time and uh, that bit of the task is actually done by YouTube they've got various ways of uh, delivering uh, each video to the, the left and right eye so all we need to do is sort out the first part well luckily a lot of us have devices like these iPhones, iPod touches, rather mobile phones that uh, that have video cameras in them and so I'm going to show you how you can uh, how you can use these devices to uh, to create 3D videos on YouTube so um, you need to be able to capture the video and so you need to be able to hold your uh, your cameras in a position nice and steady so that they're uh, only eye distance apart and the expensive bit of equipment you need to do that is something like this it's just a piece of cardboard and um, with holes cut in it and you can just stick your uh, your phones and your iPod touches in there like this and you can just start them and then hold them up like that and uh, snap away or, or take your uh, simultaneous footage like that so yeah once you've captured your video just get your uh, the video files off these devices in the way you normally would um, but tr try and note down which one we you are using for the left eye and which one you're trying to, you are using for the right eye and when you upload those videos label them left eye and right eye so you don't get confused about which file belongs to which because it can be a little bit tricky to tell once you've got them onto, uh, onto your computer. What we're going to be doing is uh, producing video for YouTube that's uh, as described on uh, YouTube's um, help documentation on uh, they've got articles on uh, under the help articles uploading editing videos learn more 3D content in their uh, in their help thing and um, the um, sort of information you get on that page is uh, illustrated on this uh, slide here. This is the hint on how you uh, you produce the video. Essentially, what you need to end up with is uh, a 16 to 9 ratio frame that has left eye footage on the left hand side and right eye footage on the right hand side in the one frame, side by side. And uh, but the video on those sides need to be squashed by 50% in the horizontal axis so that your um, the resulting footage is still 16 to 9 so that the the video you upload is 16 to 9 so you end up you have two 16 to 9 ratio bits of film uh, and you squash them both down in the uh, in the horizontal axis by 50 percent and you join them together to make another 16 to 9 ratio film um, in the example shown on the uh, youtube help site they they merge them and they shrink them down what i'm going to do is actually shrink them down and then merge them but it's essentially the same thing. The first step is to get your videos of the left and right eye into your uh, project and then right click and select clip properties and advanced and change the pixel aspect ratio to 0.5 and so you do that for both the left and right eye And then you drag those onto the uh, onto your video timeline. I put the left eye on video one and the right eye on video two. So, oh, and you also want to make sure your videos are uh, aligned as accurately as possible. So um, it's good if they've got some audio on them because you can use the audio to align your videos, and you can play them back and make sure you don't hear any echo. If there's any echoes in it, uh, that's a sign that you haven't got them completely aligned. Signals so that you can use that 
audio, the, the audio sort of um, an audio cue to see them where they're aligned. You can also see the um, on the thumbnail of the audio uh, whether they they're, they're aligned as well. Um, and what I've done on mine was uh, once I had them aligned and there was very little echo in the audio, I actually uh, muted the audio track on one of my uh, videos so that it, uh, it got, got rid of, there was still a slight echo and I got rid of that by muting the audio track. Um, so after you've got your left and right eye footage on the timeline, you add a transition, a video transition, it's a composite transition and in the uh, alpha channel operation make it sure it's over and it defaults to having a line and fill checked you need to uncheck a line and fill so once you've got your composite transition in place which should extend over the entire length of the video you then add uh, pan and zoom effects to both left and right eye videos uh, on the left eye you uh, put pan and zoom minus 256 for the x and leave the Y at zero, and the right eye you put pan and zoom uh, plus 256. So the videos as they come off the uh, iPhone are uh, 1024 by 576 pixels in dimension, and um, then they've been uh, compressed by 50% in, uh, in the horizontal dimension, so they're uh, 512 by 576, and then we want to move them across half that distance so we put a uh, left eye pan and zoom x factor of minus 256 and on the right eye we put a uh, pan and zoom uh, the pan factor x of uh, plus 256 and as you can see that makes them uh, appear as they do on the on this shot here side by side so once you've done that the uh, the video should look like it appears in this screenshot with uh, the left eye on the left side of the uh, the uh, footage and the right eye footage on the uh, right side of the um, of the screen, and they should be compressed horizontally so they so they fit. Now on my footage, I had my footage one one came off an iPhone and one came off an uh, an iTouch an iPad or iPod Touch, and I noticed that uh, the um, the iPhone produced tighter footage, it was zoomed in more than the eye touch, so I was able to actually correct this in, uh, in pan and zoom as well, so I had to zoom one of my, uh, one of my uh, bits of footage in by 127% uh, because it's important for yeah, your videos to be the same size. It would be ideal if both cameras were identical, my, both my cameras weren't identical but I was able to sort of compensate for that but, uh, using the uh, KDN Live. So the editing in Kden Live is pretty much three, just three steps. You uh, change the pixel aspect ratio of your f footage so that it's compressed 50% in the horizontal direction. Um, you put your that's step one. Step two is to put both those left and right eye footages onto the uh, timeline of your video and put a composite transition between the two of them and align them so they're aligned properly. And step three is to uh, do pan and zoom on those footages so that one lives on the left and one lives on the right of your image. And once you've done that, you basically got your uh, video set up ready for, uh, for rendering and uploading to YouTube. So you can just go ahead and render that. I usually render the whole raw footage uh, in 3D uh, to a DV file and then you can go and edit, edit that DV file. It just makes life easier. You have a, a nice DV footage uh, of your uh, of your side by side stereoscopic uh, footage, and then you can edit it as you would normally edit any other bit of footage. And once you've got a nice edited final uh, version, you can render that again into DivX. So once it's rendered, all you need to do is uh, is upload it to YouTube. And all you need to do to tell YouTube that it's uh, 3D footage and make it magically treat it as 3D is to uh, put a particular tag in the tag section in YouTube. And that tag is YT3D colon enable equals LR. So, and then your footage will be treated as 3D footage on YouTube. And this actually works. I've done it. It's cool.